In this video, I'm going to show you a project I just completed that's going to help me out with my product testing in the future. This is not a how-to video though, and I'm not a licensed electrician, so please don't try to copy what I'm doing. If you want to skip the video montage, use the chapters to skip ahead to the 2 minute 20 second mark. Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a project that I've been working on for a little while. Uh, this is something I've wanted to do for months and months and months, but uh, I figured it would be more of a cold weather type thing uh, project. Now that it's a little bit cooler and I'm kind of forced indoors, this is something perfect to work on. So I built a test rig for inverters and portable power banks. So what I did was I basically created a small grid system uh, with four uh, light switches here, obviously four light sockets all wired into a load center here with an input for 120 volt AC power and then four breakers, four individual circuits for four individual lights. Each of these lights right now, obviously I can change the bulbs in them, but right now I've got 250 watt heat lamps in them to give me really nice round numbers. And what this is going to do, the whole purpose of this setup is to be able to test the portable power banks that I get sent and inverters and things like that. Uh, it will give me the ability to flip on one, two, three, or four of these lights for 250, 500, 750, or 1,000 watts, respectively, and then be able to run the portable power station, and then, you know, based on how long it runs, I could determine the capacity and whether it's properly rated or not. I can expand this later. I have an eight position load center here, which can handle up to 16 circuits. So, and obviously I could expand these because 250 watts is not even coming close to loading up those circuits. So I could obviously add on to this later and I could test larger inverters than, you know, a thousand watts. But anyway, this will get me started and help me to standardize the testing. In the past, I've used box fans and, and different things to, to simulate a, a sustained load on these portable power stations. But uh, I figured that I wanted something that was a little bit more stable, a little bit more adjustable so that, you know, even the biggest box fans are going to only be about 200 watts, 300 watts at the most. So I wanted something that could put a higher load on it without trying to use like a portable air conditioner or something that used just a, an insane surge load that none of these things were capable of. So this, these bulbs should be able to provide a steady 
steady load on the power bank or the inverter without that huge transient spike. Anyway, I'm sure some of the uh, licensed electricians out there will probably be uh, commenting on this video. Uh, I do not pretend to be an electrician. Um, I have done a lot of research to make sure that this is safe. Um, and I am going to consult with a licensed electrician to look over this before I use it. Anyway, just wanted to show off something fun that I've been working on. Uh, just also so that when you see this in future videos, people aren't asking, what the heck is that? Or whatever. And then I can just send them a link to, to this video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, thanks for watching the video. And please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you enjoyed watching.